hi welcome to this uh, show of the news click and uh, today we are very happy to have uh, romi kosla with us thank you for joining us uh, romi sir and if you don't mind i'll call you just romi though age is such a big thank difference <laughs> uh, uh, well romi has been uh, i mean professionally he is an architect a planner but who believes in the future of india and uh, uh, romi has also been instrumental into uh the urban revitalization of some of uh, very important cities in uh, the war torn countries of europe and parts of uh, asia comprising kosovo bulgaria romania cyprus and palestine and this work was assigned to him by the undp so thank you for joining us uh, romi uh what we are discussing today i mean that that is i think something very important uh, we all know we are passing through a very difficult phase the phase of pandemic covid 19 Uh, millions of people have died we have lost uh, many of our friends i mean not a single house that we can uh, point out that has not been affected either infected or the house that has not lost it's a, it's a real grief that has stricken uh, around the world uh, but what we are discussing today and for that we have uh, i mean the best person probably in in the region to just speak about that is one of the dozier or one of the uh, the the circular of the government it was a kind of a guideline that uh, was uh, issued by our central government uh, we have seen i mean the government has been pointing out that do gaz ki doori hai just keep a distance of 6 uh, feet but recently we saw the principal chief ad- advisor the scientific advisor to the government of india saying that no we must maintain a distance of 10 meters okay fine that's not a problem but what the problem is actually when uh, he says you know your houses should be ventilated yes houses should be ventilated uh, keep your air conditions on uh, and also keep your doors and windows open now uh, <laughs> so ventilate your houses i mean it looks so good i mean it looks so nice to speak about not realizing that 40% of our population lives in just a single room and in our urban centers uh, you know uh, i think more than uh, especially the the urban agglomerates that we are talking about the metropolis of uh, our country nearly 50% of the population lives in slums so i think it's a big disconnect that we are witnessing now i mean what are we talking about where are where are we heading to uh nevertheless I mean, this is something important so i think this aspect of uh, you know going back to the whole process of town planning building houses so before we just uh, uh, point out straight to the questions from me i mean how do you take this circular as i mean i mean what is it i mean i mean the intent is fine the science is good but i think uh, it's it's far far away and far uh, distance from the actual reality that is existing and then we'll come pointedly to the to the questions that that i think uh, we want you to address please you see we as a country face many many problems and the question is who is going to take responsibility for the solutions that are being recommended you see it is very easy to sit in government and give directives so is there any person taking responsibility for those so if you say that um there are 40% of the population which is with in single room or without houses should get houses yeah. i for give a directive that the housing ministry should provide houses for them has anybody taken any responsibility for this work and we have had unfortunately 70 more than 70 years of governance without responsibility governance with lot of directives lot of acts lot of laws being passed but nobody taking the responsibility and this pandemic today which is amongst us here is actually the culmination of a system of government which doesn't take responsibility it gives all sorts of directives ye hoga finally we have anpad logon ki sarkar ban gayi hai na so we have people who don't bother with responsibility any wo koi kagaz pakda deta usko pad ke pad ke aur tv se off ho jate hain so the question comes how do we take the responsibility for all 
the directives, whether on housing, whether better ventilation. Now, we are very lucky. In this great country of ours, there are 28 states, nine union territories, 723 districts, dialogue panchayat. Here is the place where responsibility has to be placed. So more decentralization. Why are we are you, not yeah. making people responsible? Why are we going to one place for doing miracles to this country? Yeah. There are going to be no miracles. So to give you an example, let us take housing, for instance. Now, let us look, take at the 730 odd districts and Zila uh, Johe and their um, municipalities also. Each of them has a housing problem. Each of them face different systems of housing. I cannot make it in Himachal. Yeah, true. So, therefore, the responsibility for housing comes down to the district level. And even within a district, the panchayat has to be made responsible for delivering housing. You can't have a fellow sitting in South Block ruling this country with dictates. Keji, itni housing banao, Rajasthan ko humne itne fund chhod diye. Himachal should now finish the problem, and after that they go home. So what happens? Ye hawa mein chizhe, na? So we have to recognize that something like housing is a personal requirement. It is not a general requirement. It is a personal requirement. Each family is different. Each area is different. Each climate is different. Each building material is different. So I would say that there has been, we are in a crisis. And, uh, and the single cause for that is because nobody has taken the responsibility to solve any problem. So, uh, Romy, if I may just ask, I mean, because this is what you've placed, uh, I mean, needs of housing in the national context. I, and you say in the national context, it is more local and regional context that has to be, uh, that has to be considered. I mean, fair enough. And uh, uh, we also realized recently in lay because I'm instrumental. And of course, I have gone through all the documents that you uh, actually, 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 yes, you created in, in 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 some I think two decades or three decades uh, earlier uh, for lay. Uh, so now I am part of that, uh, uh, you know, writing the vision document for lay. And you'll be surprised to note that a building plan for Chandigarh. I mean, how a house is to be constructed in Chandigarh. Is, is the same structural methods are being used to construct a house in lay, which is minus twenty, minus thirty degrees. And then all of a sudden we find in Kendri with their layers, children getting chill brains. Okay. So, yeah. So I think I have fully substantiate what you're saying. I mean, it has to be very regional. Uh, but at the same time, uh, what way, I mean, do we do? I mean, when you say that, you know, panchayats have to take the lead. Uh, I mean, what could be the process leading to such such a process? And then we'll come to the pandemic. And this is something very interesting uh, point that you've raised. Let us separate out two separate things, right? One is responsibility. The second is finance. Okay. okay. So let me talk about responsibility. This is the time when every panchayat must prepare a report card. It has to do it for health facilities. It has to do it for the hospitals, beds. It has to do it for houses. Now, when we come to houses, every panchayat must have a report card. That in panchayat, there are so we cannot tackle the problem until we have this data. What we are tending to do is we go to the census. And census may bade bade figures hote hain. Ke ji, itne percentage hain, itne laakh log hain. You see, it doesn't make any sense to us because nobody wants to take the responsibility. Ab aap bataiye ke dhai laakh panchayat hain. Ab unke baare mein bhool gaye. आपने एक सेंसस ले लिया है उसमें आपने इतने लाख करोड़ का शॉर्टेज बता दिया है और इतने बड़े सारे फंड एलोकेट कर दिए हैं उसके बाद सब सो गए हैं सो रिस्पांसिबिलिटी मस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिगिन बाय मेकिंग अ रिपोर्ट कार्ड एट द पंचायत लेवल एंड 
you have to support the panchayat by helping them prepare the report card. And what I am saying is the report card is not only for housing, it is yes. for health, it is for your infrastructure, separate report cards. Now this database that you will establish will be of a different order because in the, let us say the report card of the housing, now we know that almost 30% of the entire housing in India is single roomed. And another 37% is two roomed housing. Yeah. Now this is six, seven people are living. If this is a pandemic, what will you understand? The disease will So we have to then discuss with the panchayat, dekhi, what is the reasonable standard of housing that you should build in the panchayat? You should help build or you should approve. Now, so when, you, when you say panchayat, it also mean, uh, means the local bodies. I mean, the urban local bodies. The local bodies. Urban local bodies. You see, in, in the case of the uh, municipalities, I mean at block level. Yeah. Right? I mean at block level. So half the population is urban. So you do it at the block level. So that I have an office in the block or in the panchayat where I know that this person is going to be dealing with my house. As a person, I have to do it. You know, Tikinder, there is a beautiful um, line that Tolstoy has started Anna Karolina with. He says that happiness is the same for all rich people, but unhappiness is each individual suffering. In a different way. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Housing is a problem with which each family suffers in a different way. Yeah. True. And you cannot put it into statistics. Yeah. So to, to answer your question very briefly, finance, let's get it from the center, let's get it from the state. But responsibility has to be with urban bodies and block level and panchayat. Yeah. Perfect, Rumi. I think I think from this we move to the second question. You know, this whole business of uh, uh, housing design in general. You know, ventilation, <laughs> ventilation, insulation, and uh, so yeah. You 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 pointed out the specificity of the whole issue that it should be quite local based. Uh, so yeah, we'll come to the capacity also. But you know, I mean, take for example Delhi. Slowly and slowly, what our planners and architects have been doing, and then they're influencing the even the even the bodies that uh, I mean approve those plans. The height of the, uh, the roof gets reduced and reduced. So, in you know, a ventilation, all of a sudden gets, I mean, secondary or even tertiary. That's not even part. Now, the pandemic has hit you back and said, no, this is very important. I mean, some of the basics, basic tenets of uh, housing and living, are they getting reinforced? So, how, how do you actually look at it? You see, there are two or three broad issues here. When you are living in a big city like Delhi, or Bombay or Calcutta, the level of pollution is high. And because of the dense building, the breeze that you get is very difficult to clear from without mechanical means from the house itself. Yeah. Yeah. So you cannot form a general rule, which is extending all over India. What, what the governments in the past have done is they have framed a typical bylaws. All right, yeah. model bylaws they call them. Abhi sari India ke liye model bylaws bana diya. Whether you are in Leh or whether you are in Bombay, yeah, yeah. Bylaw <laughs> huh? Now the root cause of the bylaw is the fact that it is generalized and not district-wise, not uh, climate-wise, not climate wise, yeah. yeah, so climate is important. Yes. Now let me take a house in Leh which we make with mud, where there are minus 20 degrees. I, I can't have big glazing there, no? Yeah. You understand, no? I cannot have big glazing. Hmm. I may require in Bombay, Absolutely. but I'm looking into the sea. So you can't have, yeah. so what the bylaws have done is they have given percentage, that you have 10% of the wall ka opening in <laughs> the bathroom, mein itni ventilation. Ho. It's not at all so. And I would go back and I would say that we have to frame at panchayat level, our bylaws in each panchayat and each municipal block, you must have the bylaws. And I'll tell you why. 
Yeah. Because let me take, for instance, a urban city like um, Delhi or Indore or Bhopal. The, del- the, the city has different densities. आप जब कनॉट प्लेस आते हैं तो एक खुला है सेंट्रल विस्टा में आते हैं खुला है आप किसी बस्ती में जाते हैं तो बहुत टाइट है तो यू कैनॉट हैव जनरल बायलॉज व्हिच कवर एवरीथिंग सो इवन ए म्युनिसिपल एरिया हैज टू हैव ब्लॉक वाइज बायलॉज इस ब्लॉक में ये डेंसिटी है तो ये बायलॉज ये तो नहीं है कि जी आपने दिल्ली में कह दिया कि आप पांच मंजिली बना सकते हैं तो सब जगह पांच मंजिली बन रही है ये हो रहा है आजकल मैं ट्रू आई एग्री So, I agree. Since, since uh, both you and I, we are in, uh, I mean, you are in Dharamsala, I'm in Simla, yes. so we can easily understand that even on a mountain, yes. the northwest and <laughs> the southeast would should have different sets of uh, buildings, yeah. Because it, I mean, depending on the sun and the strength of the rock. Yeah, please uh, go ahead. Yeah. So, what we, what I come back to, what I originally said is that let us regard housing like medical, like the medical one, as yeah. a personal problem. Let us solve it at a personal level. जो मरीज आता है आप उसको जनरल दवाइयां नहीं देते हैं यू हैव लुक वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद हिम एंड देन यू प्रेस्क्राइब टू लास्ट क्वेश्चन पर्सनल आई मीन आई अगेन गो बैक टू द जनरल एंड I mean, just just cite one example, and this I और ये मुझे ज्यादा समझ में आया जब मैं दिल्ली में Lady Harding Medical College में गया और मैंने वहां पर ये देखा कि उनका पुराने सेट ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स लेडी हार्डिंग ब्रिटिश के जमाने का बनाई हुई बिल्डिंग्स हैं बहुत और खासकर एक बॉर्ड जो उनका ऑब्स गायनी है वो बहुत ऊंची इमारत है मतलब बहुत ऊंचा कमरा है जिसमें वेंटिलेशन बहुत अच्छी है और तपते गर्मी में भी इट वॉज लाइक रियली कोल्ड बिकॉज द थिकनेस ऑफ द वॉल एयर कुड मूव इन एंड देन देर वॉज एन आउटर वॉल टू प्रोटेक्ट इट फ्रॉम द सन सो यू नो सो दो एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वर डन अर्लियर एंड नाउ आई कैन assume that that is a highly ventilated uh, you know hospital to wo general when we speak about you know public institutions public buildings uske sath mein do nayi buildings ban rahi hain aur wo matchbox hai aur main unse puch raha tha ki ye sab hawa bola ek second bhi bina air condition ke ye log ye nahi chalengi to ye jo planning ka process jo general process hai aur ye jo real estate ka beech mein ghus jana ye jo main ye bhi keh sakta hu ki jo nexus ya interest of you know बहुत ज्यादा मतलब कंपनी जो एयर कंडीशन मैन्युफैक्चर कर रही है उसने पूरा ये शिफ्ट कर दिया कि कैन वी जस्ट री एनफोर्स आई मीन आई डोंट से वी गो बैक टू द ब्रिटिश एयर और वी गो बैक टू बट आई थिंक जैसा आप लोकल डिजाइन की बात कर रहे हो क्या ये सब चीजें दोबारा री करने की जरूरत नहीं है जहां पर हम क्लाइमेट एनर्जी कंजम्पन ऑफकोर्स एयर और ये सारी बातें ना एक और दूसरी बात के मतलब इससे लेसन क्या है वट शुड बी द फ्यूचर डायरेक्शन हम देख रहे हैं कि ही नगर है मतलब मॉडर्न हम बना रहे हैं लेकिन जो मतलब टीओडी के नाम से अब मैं लिटरली इसको मॉडर्न स्लम कह रहा हूँ जिस तरह से बनाया बनाया गया है मतलब ना उसमें वेंटिलेशन का क्वेश्चन है ना उसमें जो जो सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है उसको ध्यान में रखा गया है एंड ऑल ऑफ अडन बिकॉज आई बाइक अराउंड देर टू गो टू रिफोर्ट ऑल ऑफ अडन में देखता हूँ कि एकदम काज का वहाँ वो आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज सस्टेनेबल फॉर्म तो आप कैसे देखते हैं दोनों बातों देखिए ऐसा है ना कि housing the kind of house you build and what kind of technique you use is influenced by the cost of energy you see if i am getting cheap electricity i say theek hai yaar air condition laga lenge na <laughs> if i am getting electricity where i where somebody tells me agar aapne air conditioner lagaya na to aapka bill 10 guna aayega to pehli baar main karunga air conditioner ko chhod dunga aur aap puchunga bhai yaar kya karu bhai moti deware banao yaar धूप के साइड में खिड़कियों मत खोलो सो आवर माइंड शिफ्ट सेकेंडली वी आर इन इंडिया वी फाइंड द बिल्डिंग ऑफ ए हाउस और ए स्ट्रक्चर एज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन्फ्लेशन हेज इन्फ्लेशन हेज अगेंस्ट इन्फ्लेशन माई सेविंग कहा डालू एफ डी डालू मेरे को किराए पर वो उतना ही परसेंटेज मिलेगा so what i am doing is that i am putting my savings into construction now i own a plot yeah. and on that i am going to maximize my building because for me this is my saving yeah. so i will make the roof level low at 9 yeah. feet because bylaw has given us 9 feet so 9 feet banaunga main and 9 feet 
universally is an unhealthy height to have in a, in a tropical country. Wow. We all know heat rises to the top. Ab no yeah. foot ke jaake, agar do foot ka layer garam hawa ka hai, to I am breathing it in all day. All, yeah. You cannot make roof less than 10 and a half feet, 11 feet in okay. a hot area. Yeah. Ab usse kya hota hai? Obviously, if you put it on every single day, you will get less than 2 feet in every single day. So, everybody says, what are you talking about? We are not, we are not uh, realizing that health, energy, housing, these are interconnected. Interconnected, definitely. Sir. Definitely, I agree. You cannot use one and not affect the other. Yeah, yeah, true. So, if you imagine, look, why has the COVID hit the urban area so badly is because the living conditions have caused pollution. People's lung capacities are reduced. People's ability to have natural immunity is reduced. Why? Because the living conditions are not good. Yeah, true. So these are, we have to first of all start regarding these as interconnections. Yeah. And but then if we, if we misuse one part, it's at the cost of another. All right. So if I lower my roofs and I make a hot house, it's at the cost of my health. Yeah, yeah. So we have to balance all three things. Perfect. And so what, what I mean, uh, so, you know, take, of course, you've mentioned the last question, probably uh, that will be the last one. You said that you can do it in design. But one argument that comes from the subject, even if you say, where is the capacity? So this is what you build to build. Local so, and I remember you suggesting a national service, you know, for, so would you like to throw some light on that? You see, I want you to think of the pandemic we have and the shortage of doctors and nurses because we didn't plan for it. For the size of population we have and the number of doctors we have, number of nurses we have, it's very, very small. In the same way, the size of population we have, the number of architects and engineers we are training is tiny. Tiny, absolutely. So we have to, on a very major scale, create a new uh, level of um, architect, engineer, who is a um, barefoot person, who has technical training, can go into a village and go into a panchayat, go into a block area and have two skills, is that he is organizing the people in the sense of suggesting methods to them. You see, at higher technical level, you can always get expertise for a short while. Yeah. But you imagine that in a block office or in a panchayat office, there is a resident barefoot engineer. Yeah. And I as a householder can go to him and say, Sir, my chhat is hai. Is ke liye kya so again, it is at a personal level, you have to attend to these problems. And you must have a national service. I would go to the extreme of saying that every architectural school which has graduated has to give two years of national service. I agree, absolutely true. And yeah. be posted, you get paid everything. It is for yeah. the graduate a huge living experience. Yeah, absolutely, sir. So unless and, uh, we tackle uh, at absolutely. this, yeah. Yeah. we cannot. So I Thank you. Thank you so much. I fully substantiate just to share an anecdote with you because I go to school of planning architecture. I'm not an architect by profession, but you know, uh, you decide how to build cities. Me as a, as a sociologist or maybe as someone who's served the city for five years, I come in for whom the city should be built. So, you know, they have this final year uh, uh, thesis, I mean, where they have to prepare a report, a, a project report. So in one of the, the, the batches, uh, they were to do something on the homeless in Delhi. And when I saw the first draft, so you'll be completely shocked from me, what you actually said. I mean, they must get a feel of, you know, what India is. It was a complete binary between they and us. So I said, this won't do. I can, and they are the ones who are going to construct modern cities. I made them stay for there for 24 hours. That's all. I said, you stay in a homeless shelter for 24 hours. Of course, there were there were hiccups, and there were, but then they finally agreed. And those students said this was the best period of their lifetime to actually realize. I mean, what I'm so homeless 
people are actually people in the in the urban centers so i think thank you so much for pointing this out k it's not just a, <laughs> I, I, I mean not just a sanitation issue but it's i mean things are very interconnected and uh, the way how I, uh, we should move for for the decentralization what you focus and also for democratization actually empowering those local bodies thank you so much for thank you thank you Thank <laughs> you.